Hello, it's Dr. Green, DTIG29 Nerd. Even though it's a cold day in San Diego, we're here with uh, episode 2 of uh, 66 Batman. Smack in the middle is the episode name. Um, written by uh, Lorenzo Simple Jr., who did a lot of uh, Batman episodes. Um, and Holy Vice Grip Batman! That's what they had him at the end, had Robin at the end of the episode. The Vice Grip. And instead of unmasking him and finding out who he is, now nope, let's just leave the mask on and put mold all over his face. Which, um, how you, uh, put, do the masking. Uh, anyway, just roll with it. So that's his big plan is making Molly play Robin. So he wakes uh, Robin up uh, with some gas A and B. He uses A to wake him up. He gives him a couple rills, which Batman immediately figures it out. And then he goes to try to get to him. And then at the. Then. At, then. They pass by Batman after he put the tracker on, or something like that. Um, and Burt Ward talked about this at Comic Con this year. Um, after the the quote unquote a car crash, because uh, Batman shoots a laser beam at uh, the engine, stop it. Well, he talks about how this is like the third time or fourth time. No, actually, you saw the same doctor five times in a row. And this is one of them, because he got singed in the back of the neck. After the first time, he, uh, his pinky dis discolated, dis discolated? Hopefully I said it right. He hurt his pinky just to get the shot of the Batmobile, um, going over the, the keep out sign or something like that during the op you know the first time he was in that Batmobile while another stunt driver was driving as Batman while um he talks about this before while uh Adam West was sitting with the 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 stunt man Robin who looked nothing like him funny having tea or something. Anyways, um... So yeah, so you talked about how you got sins, but... Uh... Molly slash Robin said he got injected so he can't talk, so Batman takes him to the... Um, Batcave. Where Molly, uh, points again at him. Oh, I was, oh, I was wondering when you were meaning to come around, or you knew something about the way, the way they, uh, put the holes so you can breathe, instead of killing them. Anyway, again, anyway, um, so anyways, uh, so she freaked out because she tried to shoot him. Barely violently, but apparently the firing pin was uh, uh, burned off by a laser because she didn't notice. So she ran up, up the ladder to the atomic pile, and while Batman tried to save her, she fell, and he said this, ah. Uh, Shame of something, a shame of go go or uh, something. It was a. I should have wrote it down, actually. I, what Adam West says is fun. Anyway, so yeah, so the uh, goes to the commissioner's office, the only time you see him this episode, him and Chief O'Hara. Um. Let's see. So they listened to the tape because the commissioner had taped it. And they found all the noise was the train. So they found the train station. 
that it was in how by using the back computer from the a Batmobile talking to the back computer at in the back cave. Basically it's the internet before it ever was the internet. Um yeah, so uh so he goes to the train substation and he finds Robin and um he does the battering and it wraps around Rittler from around the corner, like twenty feet away or something. Then he uh he uses uh, some latch to put in a bulletproof uh, glass, and he just starts laughing ever so mild, ever so not lightly, because he was manic. And then he drew a, a, a question mark for the Riddler, and then um, Robin told him, "Well, I know where they're going. He left some clues because I was playing possum." And they're going to be at the, some skyscraper bank or something. But Batman, well, don't want to ruin the surprise, but yeah, Batman figured it out. They're going back to Moldavia, uh, where there's uh, a mammoth with the jewels in his eyes and, um, and like priceless stamp collection. Um, so yeah, so as they blow a hole, no, actually, Riddler goes in after they start gassing him, and then all the patrons fall down, usually around, most of them are around the, the mammoth, and they drag the police out of the way, but holy day players, Batman! The extras, I counted three, and there's probably more. And there's one I didn't even count because he was kind of upright, kind of moving. But yeah, not one, but three times they moved. Holy, up, retake, can we retake this? Uh, usually they, once, well, one I can see, because she moved her legs so the guy, one of the bad guys wouldn't step on her because the fight was getting close to him. But most of them removed their hands, just slightly. And then one, right before the thing blew up, or actually, I no, I think it was even at the end, but one covered her face. Why, I don't know. You're supposed to be unconscious. You're not supposed to move. Anyway, so the fight does ensue between Riddler and his slow gang. Um, they lose. Riddler, after a little while, the Riddler jumps down the hole they made so they can steal the mammoth. I'm guessing they're trying to steal the whole thing. Uh, Batman chases him. And, um, he had a gun again. He shoots, he misses Batman. How he missed, I don't know. But he hits the gas, started, started going out. Hey, uh, this thing will ignite, it will destroy us all. It ignited. Batman escapes, and, and at the end, Alfred, the only time you see him this episode, is the case is dismissed, because uh, Riddler no showed. Um, so yeah, so so yeah, they um they talk about Molly that he even inherited today. We don't want uh, uh Dick to be associated with criminals. Ah oh, no, she won't trouble us ever again. She was a ship passing through the night, kind of thing. Classic, by the way. Um, and that's and then. Bruce helps Dick with the algebra. And at the end of second episode of Batman 1966. Really good. It's a classic. Like all of them are classic. Even the dumbest ones are still classic. And this is how it started. This is Jesse Green. D! 619 Nerds. I don't know.